Um, I can't see. Good morning, Internet. I'm Master Briss, and we are back in Pokemon version 2 Paz. I am joined by Ryder, joining me again after a fairly long absence of leave. By which I mean leave of absence. Don't I? Yeah. After all, I've just, I've just had a lot of crap going on, so it's good to be back. And I have somehow lost walk through walls. Did I disable it? Oh, I've got disable mode on, that'll be yeah. why. Right, now I can get back to the center, because now that I have obtained my magical seventh gym badge, which still looks remarkably like the normal gym badge, I can get on with the important business of teaching something dive and seeing what awaits us in the not seafloor cavern. It's good to be back. I think we'll stick with the current party of Evolved Metal Satan, You Suck Cock, Top Hat Kermit Stifle, and... No idea who I'm going to pick as the dive slave. I've got options. Options are good. Could take Delightful. Ew. Or we could take Hypno Disc. Uh... Considering the- Wait, what happened to Wyhorn? Unfortunately, Wyhorn <laughs> was boxed from the team mainly due to redundancy and coverage issues. No, I meant like, um, for a second it, sh it its coloring was off. Was it? I didn't notice. Yes. Huh. That's a new thing. Anyway, we're going with Hypnodisc because I don't really use Sharpedo that much. Also, note that Dive is now Submerge. So it's the opposite action to the one it was before. But it doesn't really make any sense now. You are on top of the water and not below it. Do you want to submerge? It's a question for the ages. <laughs> Hypnodisc forgot demon phase. And here we go. We have ourselves a submerge. Now all I have to do is work out which way I'm actually going. That may be the most- Good luck with that. That may be the most <laughs> difficult thing of all. Perhaps. Uh, it's not going to be any of the little spots because presumably they are still things and- Oh, we haven't actually gotten a catch for the Opal Side Sea yet, have we? No, that's a new one. Therefore, Acro is eligible. Acro? Where do these names even fucking come from? Most of them are just so- Random. The dark and twisted psyche of a British hacker. As opposed to all those normal British hackers that exist out there. Get in the ball, Acro. Let's read your Pokedex entry. If you hear constant meowing, that's my cat. It doesn't have a beak! How is it a beak fish Pokemon? Well, it, its mouth kind of resembles a mm. pelican's if you look at it. I guess. Acro gets its name from the way it squawks like a crow. These annoying squawks, now spelled correctly, attract mates in the meetings. So these things are attracted to each other by annoying each other. Yeah. Don't you know annoyance is the best kind of love? <laughs> I didn't put that whoopee cushion down there to annoy you. I put it there because I love you. Frog. Also, note that... Crazy Frog, it's an annoying thing. Tenuous Link, oh I god, know. That thing. Also, we're being told if we'd like to use Dive, even though the move is now called Submerge. Attention to detail. Yes. Don't we just love it? Inconsistencies. Incons All a part of the bad rum hake experience. <laughs> is it just me, or does the Dive sprite from this angle just look like a head with some hands attached to it? Actually, yeah, I see that. I don't know if the normal Hoenn ones are like that, but I remember there being, like, it was at least vaguely hinted there was some body there, wasn't there? I think. I'd have to look at it. Ooh, this is Brazer, the Clampurl XP. Eh, lob balls until it sticks, I think. Ah. It looks like one of those, um, sh those, um, underwater sharks. Or not underwater no. sharks, but the sharks that like hang out on the ocean floor. That's not even an original design. That is literally just a manta ray with some antenna attached to it. Huh. Brazer swims along the ocean floor searching for food. It uses its antenna as a... That's the most ordinary description we've had yet. 
It's so yeah, it's an ordinary mon. Ordinary. Mom. It's just so It's the every mon. Congratulations, Brazer. You've earned yourself the only nickname I can give you now. You shall be dubbed once I get back to the capitals. Joe Blocks. I don't know if Americans are familiar with the concept of Joe Blocks. I'm not. Joe Bloggs is a sort of... Well, I was about to say, he's a sort of the man on the Clapham Omnibus. But that's also a Britishism. <laughs> but it is just an everyman term, basically. Your life is chock full of Britishisms because you're a British person. It's what we do. And I think he's remapped underwater slightly because... This must be the entrance to... Opalside City. And I think... Oh, this is supposed to be... That's actually a surprisingly nice blue tile. It's all... The colour's nice. It's almost like I'll walking in the clouds. Except the clouds are now rocks. Rock clouds. Rock clouds. They're clouds and yeah, they're made that, of rocks. Yeah, that's a pleasant colour. clouds. Wait, yeah. I'm actually fairly... Admittedly, the city mapping will be completely and utterly screwed up, and none of us will like it in the slightest. But hey, at well, least that's inevitable, we tried. Though. Also, I think I have now gone too far. I mean, map of area. Oh no, the seaside cave thing is supposed to be somewhere in this sort of region, isn't it? I believe so. We need to dive deeper. And avoid deeper. more flesh. Fleshy! Also, you... <laughs> Presumably, back in when this was Vanilla Ruby, no. you would have jumped onto land here, but Baza removed it. But for some reason, the game's movement map movement permissions weren't changed, so the game still thinks it's land. That's the best exploit. I think I'm trapped. Uh, oh no! I... It is invisible land! I can use the surf prompt. But I can only use it from this way. Why? I'm presuming that is going to be another artifact, but... This entire sea is full of invisible walls, isn't it? Even worse, it's, it's the kind of walk through walls that... No, the sort of invisible wall that... Oh! Oh, wait. No, no, that can't be right. We're... Map of area. We just can't go down anymore. That's a really, really bad way of blocking it off. The regular games had, like, rocks there, didn't they? I think so. There were a lot more rocks than what I'm seeing. This is... No. He must have screwed it up somehow. That is just the explanation for he everything. screwed it up somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, by some means. My cat will not shut up. Ah, it's adorable. And this is the deep area, so... Submarine beef is painted on the hall. This is the submarine that Giovanni <laughs> and the others think. I bet the police followed them. In their submersible, which is also somewhere around here, but it's invisible. That or they'll just use scuba equipment. Beef. <laughs> Welcome to Ancient Habitat. It pretty much oh. looks like the seafloor cavern, except presumably there are more law types in it. It even has similar encounters. Of course it does. Why did I pause? I was looking for the light speed button. Um. Yep. Oh, I did actually bring someone with strength because the use of cock learned it. Didn't bring someone with ice break though, but I don't care. That is just going to be my principal response to. What's the point of this? There is no point to any of it's this. It's so... It's just an experience. And the fact that there's two of them every... Ugh! Right. Sooner we get out of here and awaken whatever weird and gormless legendary they've decided on this week, the better. I'm on patrol here. Hey, who are you? Well, I'm a member of Team Rocket. Isn't it obvious by the uniform and the distinctive lack of respect? You alright over there? Yeah, I'm good. 
The cat just wants release into the world, doesn't it? They're very good at that. Wanting release into the world. They always eventually come back, though. The world isn't enough. He was getting ready to harass the cat. Sorry. Ah, fair enough. Uh, more strength puzzles that shall be ignored. More shy that shall also be ignored because I don't think I'm going to be able to get a non-dupe catch in this cave, especially considering all the other damn caves that we have encountered. And now, ugh, choice of paths. But I'm presuming the path of least resistance is the one I don't want to take. And I'd be right. Welcome back to Tide Puzzles, everyone. My favourite. And by my favourite, I mean kill me now. No, really. Kill me now. Screw Tide Puzzles. They're the worst thing that... I guess there are worse things than Tide Puzzles, that but... That gets annoying, I'll give you that. It's so... I don't know when I don't care and surf encounters and... Toad is in the vanilla game. Oh, hello there. Did he make this puzzle better or worse than it was in the original? I think worse. Actually, I think it worse. might be easier because there's a bit more... Like, all I'd have to do for this one is left, right, up, and then... Ugh, what do I want to do for this one, actually? Oh, no, right, yeah, I'm just supposed to go... Well, technically, I'd go up there and I'd push that one up, but obviously, I'd walk through walls kills <laughs> movement permissions, so I don't even care. So it's you again. When we're close to Giovanni, you always show up, but not today. Our lieutenant, with two T's, so presumably he's the 10th Doctor, has already found Giovanni and taken the blue orb he stole back. And that means we have finally caught Giovanni. And now we're gonna catch you as well. What are you. What, what is Bridge? A Pokemon? Well. It's Sergeant Smithers. I'm sure he's got a world view that makes sense to somebody, but definitely not to us. That's a good point. Is the Pokemon equivalent of handcuffs just a pair of Pokeballs strewn together? And they put like half of the Pokemon in one ball and half of the Pokemon in the other. That's actually interesting. I, I don't know. It could be anything, really. It probably doesn't even I matter. Know. Just interesting little thoughts. No, Bob. No, no it's why horn. And now it's everyone using the evolved forms because this is the last time we will ever. Oh, this is the last time we'll ever fight the police in the entire game. I feel like I haven't been giving them an appropriate enough send off. Oh no. <laughs> what do you have in mind? I don't know. I feel like I should make some sort of tribute. Some sort of inspiring Oh god, wait, this is the exact same strength puzzle that it was in Vanilla, wasn't it? Yeah. I always hated this puzzle because I never got it right on my first attempt. <laughs> oh, damn it. Dog, stop harassing the cat. My god. What am I supposed to No! I guess I can have an attempt at solving it. It's not gonna go well. Right. I think I'm supposed to I was supposed to put the middle one up. Oh, I don't know. Right. You can do it, Bruce. I believe in you. Right. It's no. I've. Oh no! Wait, no. I'm then supposed to do that. 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 Ah, yeah. That's how you do it. Why I'm never yeah. able to get that right, I will never know. But it is a thing. It has blighted my life every single time I played a hoe and run, and it will no longer matter in. Hello, random strength bolters. <laughs> nice to see you too. And TM26? TM26, which is still called Earthquake, I know, because we've seen it. And... Gaze upon the face of the thing we're supposed to capture. Um, hello there, thing we're supposed to capture. It's a worm with arms and a cross over its mouth. It's a it's a worm with arms. Stop right now! Walk in slow motion. I'm the lieutenant, first name David, of the police force. You were going to poach this Pokemon for Team Rocket, weren't you? Well, there's no point now. We captured Giovanni. And we've secured him so he can be taken straight to jail. And now it's your turn. You've beaten countless officers, but I'm the real deal. The real of deal? Oh, wow. 
It's just a reg another officer. It's just Maxie again. Why they didn't give Maxie a unique sprite is utterly beyond me. Could he just not be bothered to make additional sprites for the extra police officers or something? No, no, you see, the police are so attractive and good-looking just the way they are that he couldn't think of adding anything more. This is a good point. I mean, you can't... Look at, if looking at Kim Jong-un's face has taught me anything, it's that you can't improve on perfection. Exactly. You can only get worse than it. Metal Ox is... I... Oh, Metal Ox is the de-evolution of what... Holy is, so I will go to... I'll be honest with you, this team is full of steel types, but when it comes to fighting steel types, it's a bit meh. Oh, and he evolved it all the way to no longer Metal Satan. With Typhoon. Joy. Glare miss, Typhoon again. Ooh, that's not good. On the other hand, we are now fixing you with Glare. And Glare. I am not taking any chances here. We are using meds straight away. I'm so happy to be able to use meds freely in battle again. I cannot tell you how good that feels. Feels really good? You have no idea. Once you start seeing the XY Naturia thing, you will understand why the joy of meds is so joyous to me right now. And... Eventually, we should just wear this down by sheer force of... Ooh, double drop. Double drop is good. Double drop is what's going to get us out of this fairly nasty pickle. And he Hopefully. didn't edit the... Sp no, not the sprites, the item slot. So he still uses super potion. Uh, no, meds again. And more typhoon. You haven't seen typhoon before, have you? Actually, it's been used a few times, so I've seen it. You know what it replaces, then? Twister. Mm. Nice little thing. And Lion Eye. We can just safely go back to Karmit for this, I reckon. Sir. Oh, goodness. Amnesia won't help you now that you've wasted all of your meds, Lion Eye. You're down. We gain experience. And Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ You're too strong Well you're not having this I confiscated it from Giovanni It's the blue orb that you stole for some odd reason <laughs> The blue orb started grow glowing a bright light oh, As opposed to glowing with Oh well It's blue to represent the law And to represent it doesn't even go sideways, it's just moving forward. Or does it not go sideways until... No, it might not go sideways till the cave Vargin, actually. Oh well. What? It's gone now. What the hell? Now I know why Giovanni wanted this blue orb! Because he really likes watching worms fly away? Yes. Wait, I just got a text from my officers. Screw walkie-talkies, smartphones for the win. Giovanni has escaped with some G rockets, and what's worse, the sun has amplified its power so that it has become dangerous. <laughs> mm. Giovanni said it was Dragonus controlling the sun and that he'd been awoken. Paul's count. This can't be good at all. What do we do? This blue orb. Did it wake Dragonus? Yes, but it made Dragonus mad. You're meant to use the red orb. Not so tough now, are we, Mr. Lieutenant? <laughs> Where the hell is Dragonus? You had the wrong orb. He needed this one. The blue orb just made Dragonus really mad. <laughs> when will this Dragonus <laughs> stop being angry? It won't. Shall we go outside and see just how bad the sun really is? Rich, I may need a bit more help. Follow me. Because Giovanni can't do anything by himself. This bit has been unchanged in mapping because presumably it would screw up the events if he did. This is a disaster! You Team Rockets and your get-rich-quick schemes. By selling the sheer amount of sun cream that would be profitable as a result of the sun thing, you will earn the monies. We must stop this. <laughs> what have you done? Hey, I didn't know this would happen, but I'm going to try and help. The only way to end Dragonus is... He knew it was Dragonus. He should have... No, ah, apostrophes. It's to either catch it or defeat it in battle. Britch. 
Oh no shit. This is what I want you to do. I want you to find Dragnus and catch it, not defeat it. That will end Dragnus's rampage and we'll get us a super rare Pokemon, Kerchain. That way, everybody's happy. Good luck. I'm going back to HQ. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Meh, can't bother to rest him now. I'm just going to go home. Have a pint. Good day. Just look at the scorching power of Dragnus's rage. This Pokemon sure was a great find. Run away! No, stop! I think my favorite part of that was Giovanni actually showing compassion. Or not compassion, but like concern for everybody being happy. It is a strange little quirk. And now the hacker has shown up to talk to us again. Rich, was this you? Well, whoever did it, it's no use standing around here doing nothing about it. You're a strong Pokemon trainer, so you could help us. I believe that Dragnus flew to Aura Cave, and that's in Opalside City. If you don't know how to get there, just dive around a bit. Well, I'm going to Opalside. It would help if you came too, Bridge. See you around! And we will join him in Opalside. Next part, where we shall catch ourselves a Worm God. Oh and God. it will be disgusting. Bye. Of course it will. Bye.